that that that's I, I and I, I I'm a little cynical when it comes to that. I I get cynical in a lot of the educational stuff. I'm like, you know, kids are. Sh- Kids are more than you give them credit for, you know. Yeah, I mean, it's <laughs> well. Next year, uh, Tim was already told me his kid is going to move away from duties. He's going to use uh, Gen two next year. Yeah, my my eldest yeah. is going to move on to the, on to Gen two next year. I think. But I mean, it does bring up a quite interesting uh, point because when we were all growing up and we were using machines, certainly I remember the machines I had access to were few and far between, and mostly BBC B um, machines in in the local school. But the one thing that we didn't have, um, apart from less advanced. Uh, less advanced looking graphics, no fancy UIs, was they didn't have things like mice and we didn't have any of these extra peripherals and so I've got no frame of reference for knowing about how far my kids are getting in, in terms of development on a PC because when I was growing up there wasn't a mouse so I can't say well by four years old they should be using this, by five they should be doing that. So well was, the technology is entirely different, I mean as a three year old I was using DOS, <laughs> so you know. <laughs> We were grabbing around floppy disks and stuff, and we were using CD-ROMs, and we were using to have the, I mean, optical drives disappear gradually, I think, and now kids go around with, like, USB keys and stuff, mm-hmm. or collecting their phones, too. Basically, they can use their phones as a storage device, or just mm-hmm. pass things around over the internet, so they don't really need to have the storage device. You just, I mean, just very simple things like getting the relationship over to the child about the uh, connection between the mouse and the computer screen. That's quite a difficult concept when a, a child's first sitting in front of a computer. They can look at the screen and press the buttons, or, you know, press the keyboard and move the mouse. But to get them to understand the relationship between the mouse and the, the computer screen, how it all integrates together. And that was well, one see, what, what you do is you sit them down and you explain mathematics to them and then you teach them about what a bit is and that there's eight parts <laughs> to it. <laughs> well, that, that, well, that's one of the nice things. I mean, I'm not going to go on about it now because I've got to look at the whole system. But uh, one of the nice things is the early packages on this do Linux. They had a lot of um, educational software for just that purpose. So, for example, you would have the, the mouse, a very simple mouse application that was very colourful, very noisy, and it highlighted perfectly the relationship between the mouse pointer and the, and the computer screen. So, it, on initial looking at it, it's, it's absolutely fantastic, and uh, it's got a plethora of other features as well, specifically aimed for children, which, and the distro itself sits quite happily on a USB stick, which can be thrown into our network downstairs whenever, you know, the kids want to have a have a go on the machine, so it's, oh, right. it, it's it's going to be very, it's going to be very interesting to have a look at it, and certainly any any advantage you can get to introduce uh, children, my children, to the, the world of computing, um, especially in this fast moving era where if you don't keep up with it, it's not really a problem because you can introduce yourself to new technologies. But if you ever decide to do anything more advanced, uh, certainly programming now and, and coding your computers is a far more complex subject than it was when. I was doing it on the Amiga. On the Amiga, we had assembly language. We would maybe even use Amos if uh, somebody wanted a very high level, sort of basic type uh, language that's quite diverse. Um, but nowadays, you've got so many different languages and uh, SDKs. And it, it's well, not... no, you, you say that on languages, but I mean, when I'm 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 teaching myself C here, and when I when when I start going through C. I'm looking at the syntax of the code. I'm like, hey, I use syntax like that in PHP. And so, I mean, they have things in common. Oh, yeah, no, no, I, mean, no I, I don't mean the actual languages themselves. I, I mean the, just the diverse scope of languages. I mean, we've got Ruby, you've got Python, you've got C, you've got Java. Now, in the days when we were young in the bedroom coding, you were just a teenager, you just got your brand new Amiga computer. Then really, the choices open to you for development were quite limited. And one could argue that was a far easier environment to... Uh, to learn to, to program in. Um, you start learning Python and then somebody comes along and says, no, you won't be doing that, you, you won't look at this. And it's, it's rather more convoluted now, um, development. Well, and, and more and more now what we're moving over to, even in the Linux side, is you don't actually learn to program. You learn to use somebody's pre-ready framework. Mm. Yeah. And, and so, I mean, I, I, mean I, know, I noticed this, and it's certainly for people like myself, who my real computer enthusiasm was in the days of the Amiga when I had more time and I wasn't married, I didn't have kids, and I was able to sit in my, in my bedroom for five, six hours at a time, plugging away as was ever. Um, and now, when you come out yourself out of the loop, and you come back to it you know, years later, it's a very different world and a very different ecosystem to be in. And uh, yes, uh, very, very, very strange. Um, what we'll do now, I think Roy has another uh, track for, for us, and then we'll move on to our final talking point of the evening. So, uh, Roy? Yeah, well, the next one is government. Uh, 
Government's Name, Government Name, uh, Spontaneous Lover by, hopefully it pronounces correctly, uh, Rockwell Knuckle. What are you talking about? I'm not sure. No, 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 no. I live around the corner. I live on the north. So, come on. Loud mouth, well built woman got me all distracted. Begging for attention with her friends acting dramatic. Usually the women I'm into are upper classic. But in my past, these the type of women I've attracted. Next thing I know, she and I are drinking, clinging glasses. Being disrespectful, talking about how fat her ass is. The fact that you laugh, take the half of it. She don't know my government, who wants to see where I live for the fun of it. Paid off my tab, told Grant I'm gone. Walking toward the whip, ain't off the lot and already she's teasing and touching it. Ask me what I want, young lady. I would love to freak you, then feed you, drop you off, and tell you it was nice to meet you. Now fix your face. She don't know my government. She don't know my government. She don't know my government. She don't know my government's name. She don't. She don't know my government. 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 And she's feeling bad Cell phone ringing, interrupting Vicky, I will hit you back She didn't know it, all in mind Asking who was that My brother on business, you ain't got nothing to do with that Taking she'll keep coming back Just sit back and you relax My life kinda crazy, baby I don't know how you'd react We'll do what we do in fact Turn the volume to the max Then I'll send you home a single lady Nothing new attached, cool with that She don't know my government she don't know my government, she don't know my government, she don't know my government's name. She don't, she don't know my government, she don't know my government, she don't know my she government's she can't name. Up until she feels the pain, she's my giving government. me all her love. She don't know my real name, spontaneous lover. She don't know my government, she don't know my government, she don't know my government, she don't know my government's name. My government name, oh, spontaneous lover. She don't know my government. She don't know my government. She don't know my government. She don't know my government name. My government name. Oh. Right, and thanks for sticking with us. Um, must admit, I'm slightly disturbed by that uh, title and all the artists for the last track. I feel rather uneasy with the words lover and knuckles in the same uh, sentence but uh, moving swiftly on we'll go on to our last talking point of the evening which is um diaspora and google plus now roy i hope you're going to be able to give us the uh, direction of this because i'm not quite sure what you're angling at with this one well we had a very short discussion before the show we think about 15 20 minutes just complete ramble among ourselves and some of the things that came up there uh, was the uh, was the situation with regards to Google Plus because I know some of us, uh, not myself, but uh, some of us are on it, and they, there is a bit of competition now. I think among those anti sort of the not Facebook type things, the all the all the people who are looking to get away from the crowd that's kind of you know associated with the Microsoft part and Microsoft on Facebook, uh, are waging a sort of a bit of a competitive. Uh, 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 platform war involved in all kinds of free platforms. Those are the basic free software, so that would be like Identica and that would be uh, Diaspora. Uh, and then, of course, you have things like Twitter and you have Google Plus, which are kind of based in Linux and uh, you know the whole app relationship between the. Uh, yeah, I, I, I'm not sure I'd say Google Plus has any relation whatsoever to anything open. It's just, it's a Google Yeah, you know, I mean, the, the stack, I mean, the same way that Twitter has got the, uh, at least it's based on Linux and stuff, but, uh, and except for that, it's just really a place where loads and loads of people register, so you're not talking about a community of thousands of people. 
Um, or communities of like millions or tens of millions, hundreds of millions of people. Uh, and there is this uh, bit of a push between the wars to communicate with people. I mean, and we, we've had this discussion before, both 